I was thinking we were already live. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to uh, the oh, welcome to Quad V. Where tonight we'll be bringing you the finals of the Arctic Challenge. Isuva playing up against Ballers, as uh, the knife front has already gone in away. I myself am Menace, and I'm co-commentating. Uh, oh, I am commentating alongside Peter. Peter, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing okay. Yeah, I got the old headache every now and again, but you know, can't complain. It's all good now. For anyone that doesn't know, Peter is an actual competitive player. So, uh, got some insight coming in here from Team Fragmasters. And uh, for anyone that doesn't know, they have got a Facebook page to so go like them. They do enjoy their Facebook page likes, if I'm That's not mistaken. Dan. That is Dan's little hobby. He likes to get his likes. It makes him feel special. It's all nice and warm for his inside. So, yeah, go make him happy for me. Right, now it's clearly some background on these two teams. Uh, looking over the brackets, we saw Isuba beating Escape. The Polish team in the first round. Uh, moving on into the quarterfinals, they beat uh, E-Ariness, I believe is how you pronounce it. Then in the semifinals, we saw them tank out team Rock.Asus. And then, of course, that placed them in the finals here. Then uh, for the baller side, we saw them sort of taking out Neokid, moving on to take out the French team of Sac G. And then, uh, I, I doubt that's how you pronounce it in French, probably like Sotre or something. I don't know, I'm not French, from South African. And then, of course, uh, they beat Imex 2-0 to take them into the finals. And uh, they are doing elimination here at the moment. Uh, Crash, uh, I believe they have eliminated, so we're going on to strike. Am I correct, Peter? You've been watching, I was reading the playoffs. Yeah, it looks like we're going to strike. Uh, obviously, Ballers are quite an up and coming team. They've got a lot of talent in there. Tomsky from Infused. I think they're currently sitting 10th in the CGA ladder. Well, they just joined the league very, very late, and to come get that high up so quickly and so easily really just show how, well, how strong they are in the scene right now. So obviously, Isuba. Good COD4 powerhouse organization behind them, well-known names, well-loved team. So I think it'd be interesting to watch these two play in the final tonight. Definitely. I mean, uh, of course, looking back at a little bit of the history of the Super side, uh, we recently watched them play up against Team Rock.Asus last night. They seemed very strong. They did take it to a three-mapper and then go into overtime in the end. So, you know, it was close, but they still stood strong at the end. Uh, before that, we saw them, I believe, take on a Nexus in a CGI match and then Lowland Lions in the Corsair Vengeance Challenge. So, uh, you know, they've they've come a pretty long way themselves. And, you know, I, I, every single time I watch them, they're always coming out with something new, trying something different. So they're definitely a team that's adapting and really starting to, you know, fall into their... into I was about to say their, their skill gap. They're not falling into this. They're kind of like, you know, fitting into their shoes. Trying on some clothing and finding out what works for them. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, uh, I see we've had a bit longer to try on the latest jersey, if you like. Uh, have a bit more experience, a bit more time to work together than Ballers, but Ballers are, like I said, quite talented, quite a new up and team, and basically need to take us back. Now, uh, they're having another knife round, of course, on th uh, the strike map, which is now the first map being played. This is a best of three, so first team with two maps under the name will take the title. Uh, having a look over at the teams quickly, for the baller side, we have John, Tom, Rapture, Distant, and Vithos. And then for the Super side, we have Mysac, Finta, Sax Axis, Troom, and Trunk. And uh, Peter, you know, right off the bat, where do you think this one's going to sway to? It's really hard to tell, to be honest with you. Super, if they're on form, can, I think, quite easily take this game away. But over recent weeks, over recent months, I don't think they have been. So I'm going to go with a 13-10 in favor of Ballers. First map, I'm going to have to say, I think you see I've got this one. I feel confident with what I've seen them playing on Crash, I mean on Strike. Uh, so, I I'm pretty sure they would have nailed down the teamwork by now. And, you know, it it's really going to come down to, and what we've been seeing a lot of teams, you know, come down to is just them ironing out those little details. You know, pushing A is all great and well, but if you don't just have like that one person covering the mystery for the rotate, then, you know, it's completely flawed. So, uh, you know, having having just those little people in place, making sure that the, that the tactics are solid uh, for each bomb side, I think is going to make the real difference here. As uh, we do wait for one more play to ready up. So, here we go. First round, Arctic Challenge, Call of Duty 4 Finals. And uh, let's, let, let me stick to my tradition and take it away with the scopes. I'm going to start it off here with Distant. As a... Uh, we do see the rest of the team pretty much going for a B push off the bat. He is going to be going with them. Uh, does actually seem to be turning into a split and pick as uh, two players also go towards the A side. This is very standard play for teams on strike who will first try and figure out how their opponent is playing and uh, then adapt it from that into the second round. We do see Mysac taking out Vithos. Fences 
peeking around in that mid area. Can't find much distance. Has actually fallen all the way back to that hotel area. And he's now trying to get some picks into A. But here we see these super sites sitting solid. And uh, they are not budging at all. The team coverage is very well spread out from them. Shroom getting tagged up, but he's in a great position that he can just fall back and regen his health. So he's got nothing to worry about. Mysak sitting back on this B side. Finter picks off Rapture. Finter with a second one as he takes out distance. Can he find that third? No, Saxax is going to come in there and steal it. And, uh, you know, in, in the first round, you, you always see that extremely slow play to find out the other team or that you just go for the full out rush. And we see ballers with a really slow play, play their first round. Do you think it worked out as well as it could have for them that round? Uh, in all fairness, I think you see it play that very well. Sat in deep, sat in... Well, in calculated positions where they can anticipate the enemy's movement, wait to see what the ballers are going to do. And as we see here, Super Troom is getting into A, but ballers are pushing into that site now, and they have managed to secure that bomb site. Super have got a lot of work to do now, they've got to push back into that A site building. But look, we do have Finty in that sniper house area as the rest are rotating around from B. One is flanking round, and he does have the potential to do a lot of damage here, so it's going to be interesting to see how they're going to pull this round back. But having a look now, we do have Finty trying to get that pick into A. Sexas will find Rapture. They're in a 3 versus 3 situation as ballers are sitting in, just waiting for the Suba players to push on in. Suba are going to be putting the pressure on here. There is only 30 seconds remaining to get that bomb defused down as Mizak pushing into ballers' hands here. Ballers sit distant, will take down Sexas, but Finty will find Vithos. John left for. John left the ballers now with Myzak and Finty to find. He will find Myzak. Finty is the last one on the site. He doesn't know he's not defused. And Finty will take that back. Beautiful play by Isuba as they just managed to get back into the A site. Eight ballers make the mistakes and pick them off and get that defused down. Diffused. Holy crap, that was close. The second run and my, my, my leg muscles are already tensing up at how close that bomb defuse was. But uh, you know, Isuba uh, reapplying that pressure and uh, you know. We saw, I believe it was Disson, who did actually push out a bit while trying to defend that bomb site. And I think it's actually a, like a, the, the good mix to have between defending that bomb site and still trying to apply some pressure. So you can still distract the people walking in instead of just sitting behind a wall and being picked off. Now, well, we do see Trunk that has pushed that mid street. Going to be walking into the front of air, of course, catching Tom off guard, but Vithos is quickly on hand to get that revenge frag. Disson moving off towards the back of that cafe. Should be able to find a pick here onto Fincer, can he? Now Fincer has fallen back, taking a very, very, very safe position. He is still in a nadable position, so he's got to be careful for that. But this late into the game, they shouldn't be expecting it too much from a scope and two SMGs. Distant flicking around. Fincer has got that nade, lands it onto Distant. Fincer again coming up big for his team as he drops Distant. Can he find the last one in the form of Vithos? Or well, has Vithos got too many bullets flying towards him right now? And Spray does come all the way from Sex Axis from the cafe side. And you know that surrounding pressure from Isuba just overwhelming Vithos there in the end. We do see them pick up another round. Vinti definitely defused. proving to be a vital player for Isuba here. Ballers seem to be getting hold of the A side, but once they're in there and got the bomb down, they just can't hold it. Vinti just seems to just pick them all off. And there's not much you can do about it at this stage of the game. But we will see ballers going for what appears to be a B push this time around, or it could just be thrown. No, they're going for a split, in fact. The bomb is on the A side, so it would indicate that they're going to be pushing that A side. As the skills are extremely impressive, that just has undistant have both been found on both teams, as Vithos will fall to a grenade. Three left for ballers now, with Tomsky remaining on that B side, putting the pressure on, allowing his teammates on A to well, creep the way in without much resistance. It does seem to be working with three players spread out over a B. With only Rapture remaining on that A site, he has found Troom as John, Tom and Rapture remain for ballers. John here, finding Finto as a super and now in a spot of trouble. There is one on B and that B defender has heard Tom lurking around outside him as Rapture will find Trunk. Myzak now the last man standing, he will find John. So he's still lurking around that middle street. Myzak will spot one, only managed to get the tag. Surely he's going to find that SMG in that alleyway. He does find him, tags him, but fails to land that frag. Leaping out now behind into that street. Myzak knows that bomb is about to go down on A. He has to rotate over. He has to try and stop that plant, but it's just a few seconds too late as he will try and push in. The bullets are spraying in all around him. Surely they're going to take each other out any second now. He yeah, has managed to tag up that taps player once again. Myzak sensing his enemy movement on that double palm. Will try and get the kill, but Tomsky will shut him down. Ball is getting the first round of the game. Oh, we see Tomsky there with vital 
distraction play, just constantly peeking out there towards my sack and not allowing him really the chance to just push forward without constantly having the thought of there's a player right behind me who can shoot me at any second. And uh, of course, completely distracting him and unable to get to that bomb site in time. We see the exchanging opening nades go out. Sex Axe is there with a frag there onto Vithos, putting his team the one man into the lead. Lucy trying pushing out onto this cafe side, distance caught off guard. And now we're reduced right back to two ballers players. And this is really not the the way ballers want to go into a round after just winning the previous one. We do see Sax Axe is closing it off there onto John. 4 1 is your score line. And ballers running away with it at the moment. Quite aggressive play from uh, do you mean is Uber running away with it at the moment? I think you yes, do. I yes. do. It's Uber a bit more aggressive that time round though, didn't they? Did they realised sitting back wasn't quite working for them anymore. They got a bit more aggressive, got more in the baller's face, the match shut them down. And it does look like we're going to be seeing the same again with both of the Azuba Press and on the A. They are going to be under pressure. Distant and Rapture will find frags on two Azuba players. Tom Leap and Nova finding Troom as two players remain for Azuba. Marzak and Finty know they have a lot to do here. They know they've got a lot of pressure on them. Finty has proven he's got the capability to shut them down. But Distant says no. Finding that, landing that nade back on him as Marzak gets tagged up in the middle of the road. Rapture will shut that round as ballers run straight into A. And that's what I mentioned from the previous rounds, you know, as safe as that spot is behind uh, double palms, later into the round, uh, ballers are going to realize that, you know, if Finta keeps sitting back towards that area, they're just going to keep a nade and just wait it up and throw it there, you know, it worked out perfectly that round, they didn't have to expose themselves to try to take out Finta, they just threw a nade towards there and, uh, you know, took him out in the exact same way, we do see Troom taking out John and Tom with the opening nade there. Rapture heavily tagged up in this mid-shop series. Of course, going to have a whole bunch of e super players looking towards him right now. The question is, can he get a pick? No, Trunk is on form with his aim tonight as he takes out Rapture. Mysak onto distance. And Vithos is the last man standing. He's going to try and land the deagle here onto Mysak. He does do so. He's got the bomb just out towards Cafe. Spraying up into that doorway a bit, seeing if he can find anything. Have uh, Vithos pushing into Cafe. Does take it out onto Troom. He's already got two of the four players he needs to find. Can he find another here? He knows where Trunk is. He does take him out. Last man now standing is Finter. But if anyone could do it for his team right now, he could. The thing is, he's already lost three of his teammates. Vithos is going to be pumped up right now. He knows there's an opportunity in here for him to bring this round back for his team. And it's a round they so desperately need bringing the round gap back to only one. And Finta is literally looking right over Vithos. I think he has finally spotted him. Vithos is moving out towards that B site. He's actually walking around towards Garage. Finta now being a little bit careful here. As uh, he has heard Vithos. Vithos going for the plant there on that B bomb site. Finta now knows that he's right there behind it, but Vithos actually stands up, cancels the bomb plant, and picks off Finta. One versus four from Vithos. Absolutely phenomenal play there from him. Brilliant game sense, and what a way to finish off that round. Ball started off with Mysak like, pushing around behind, and he did manage to get that Deagle frag. How he managed to even get that frag is down to me, really. Distant is opening up this round now onto it. Room. Ball players remaining so early on in the round as Distant will find a second. Distant proving to be a vital player for the baller's side as Sexhouse will find Tomsky. Trunk in a spot of trouble. There is two people in Cafe. Surely he's going to spot one. Possibly he's going to get taken out, but he will find Vithos. There is one more on the left side of Cafe. Trunk and Sexhouse with it all to do as bullets are raining in towards all players here. Trunk getting daring, getting a bit risky, trying to flank ground, trying to help out his teammate. But it's just a bit too late with the rapture shutting down sex as Trunk now spotted on the street trying to deagle failing to get even a tag surely he's going to get taken out by that player in the beeling carry there's not much you can do here that player has so good cover explosives planted. you will be looking to try and cross the road of doom as you like as i like to call it Trunk here rushing across i'm not quite sure what that baller's player is doing but john will find the frag ball is even in this game back up now four apiece Ballers really seem to be adapting to the playstyle of Isubo. Instead of going for that slow round that they have, they're allowing Isubo the chance to push out. Isubo are taking it and falling right into Baller's trap. And uh, it's really going to start hurting there on that round score. We do see Finter starting off here, taking out Distant, who proved to be a pretty strong player the previous round. And we, see, we do actually see Tom pushing all the way forward, but Trunk right on top of that, taking out Tom and Rapture. Troom chiming into the frag to take out Vithos. And we see a one versus five. Let's see if John could, no, he, I was about to say, if he could 
live up to the name of Ithos, but unfortunately not. Well, this defense seems to be kind of sorry. The East Super defense seems to be all or nothing, really. They either get it taken out really early, or they seem to take out the enemy players really. Early. It's quite a risky strategy here from a team. I'd expect a bit more, well, it's a bit more, you know, patience and a bit more confidence from. But it does seem to be working this round. As Troon does get that nade back onto Rapture, all is here grinding to a halt, hanging around in that courtyard area and and in the underlock. If your Super can just Sit tight, hold in. They shouldn't be able to get a pick right now. Obviously, the Uber players are getting a bit restless. They are trying to get, or trying to rattle the ballers' cage a little bit here as ballers are positioning themselves behind Back Cafe, trying to get that push through. As soon as they do that, they are going to be in a lot of trouble. Two Uber players are waiting, are lurking outside the Back Cafe. Tom's managing to find sex outs. That's Vithos, smokes that Aven, ready for the push. Troom is laying in wait in cafe, just wish, wishing and willing one of the ballers players to push on through, but the smoke was a decoy. They're not going to go for it as one is peeking through that back calf. A lot of movement now. They know there's one on the right side of calf, and they, they think where the sitting is clear. Tomsky will find Trunk as surely Troom's going to do a lot of damage. He has killed one, does have the bomb, will spot another, but Tomsky will shut him down. Three players remaining now for ballers as Myzak and Finty have to reclaim that site once again. What well, Tomsky trying to shut down top flowers has tagged him. Maybe it's going to fall to his death. No, he doesn't. Myzak inching away with just a fraction of his life force remaining. Explosives planted. Distance shutting down Finty and it all falls down to Myzak. He is, has been spotted. He is on that road. But he's not getting, going down without a fight. Tagging up Tomsky. But Tomsky will shut him down. Five apiece now for both teams. And this is just going tick for tack. It really is, but the fact is, the Super were up four to one. I mean, they really had the advantage in their favour, and it's 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 slipped away from them. You know, all that momentum is gone. Maybe ballers have just slipped into their groove here a bit and feeling a lot more comfortable in the game. And uh, we do see a lot better play coming out from these guys. Now, uh, let's see how this round develops. You do see John with the opening nade. Dustin in that cafe already is going to be pushing out. I think he has going to add the statue. Nearly nades himself and a teammate. So close, Tom pushing onto Trunk, yeah, and it seems the baller's A push is decimating the defenses of the super side. I don't see distance sitting back. He's got one just off to his right. He could peek up any second and pick up a frag. No, he won't. Just barely misses it. We see Mysak taking out Rapture from that hotel area. Bomb's going to go down. Where is Finter? He's going to be the one coming in from behind. Tom takes out Sax Axes, and it's down to only two e super players. And make that only one. It's all on Finton now. He has taken out one. He's seen bullets flying in from a second location. And he has actually spotted that player. Who is it? It is John. Now back to Finter. He spotted the player in cafe. Tom takes out Finter though. And the long range peak with that AK. That's going to take it to 6-5. And Ballers take the lead for the first time. Dude, we're really seeming to just give that site away now. They need to get in there. Or at least push the street and try and take control at some part of the map near that A site. If they let them get control of it again, I'm not quite sure they can take that side back any longer. They might have just got lucky in the first few rounds. But it could just be that ballers have managed to counter their defense. John pushing down Texas as they did try and secure that road. But Trunk has managed to push towards that garage area. Will stop one, managing to take him down. But surely he's going to get taken down for flowers. But no, he doesn't get dashes away. He has got tagged in the back of his leg. But apart from that, he's gotten away unscathed. Troon finding John as ballers find themselves on the back up to it once again. This is where ballers seem to shine though. They do seem to flourish in these situations where they are a man down. Is Tomsky still alive? No he isn't. This could be a big downside. Tomsky in the past during this map has managed to get into those vital positions, has managed to get the fix. I've put Vithos doing Tomsky's job to shut in down Finte as three players are now up for both sides. Vithos has given away his position though as he will try and dart away to safety but it's a long way to push, a long way to cross. Surely he's going to get taken down from Bialy. He's on that car. Bullets have been shot all around him. He has been spotted, but he managed to get away with it so far. Distance shutting down Truman. Not quite sure how he got away with this. He tries to push across that A site. Trun getting shut down. And Mizak was in the last one standing. How is he the last one alive so often, so frequently? Surely he should be helping his teammates out a bit quicker here. There is one right where he's looking, but he can't see him. He is prone behind those concrete blocks. And there's another one just millimetres away from his current position. Jumping out on the wall, he has been spotted. Abin's darting back to safety. As Mizak knows his attempting Mission Impossible here. 
is leaping around and will try and take out Statue, but Rapture says no, shutting him down. And Ballers have just taken this game from what looked so disappointing to something they can actually feel confident in in the second half. Definitely, I mean, going on to the defensive side, their, their task is made a lot easier by the fact that they just need to defend the bomb site. They don't need to try and push in and try and, you know, get that bomb down. And, uh, you know, 7-5 is a very respectable score on the on the attacking side. Now, of course, they're moving on to defense. Having a look over at the scoreboards, uh, we do actually see a very even scoreboard from, even, from e either team. Uh, which is rather uncommon. You usually have the one, two, maybe even three players that are playing exceptionally well, and the one guy or two guys that aren't playing so well. We see John there in four for three, but he did have a disconnect. I believe his frags were around four by the time he disconnected. So again, you know, very even frags from both of these teams. I will say this though for Myzak, he may be bottom of the scoreboard, but he has pulled off some spectacular plays, pushing around through their spawn and just managing to get behind them and wreak some havoc. He really should have picked up a few more frags, but he got unlucky on a few points, getting taken out by a deagle. As maybe his aim could have improved a little bit, but apart from that, there wasn't much he could do. Tomsky as well, managing to, well, he was the key to success in quite a few of those clutch rounds for ballers, and without his two players, I think both teams would be struggling a lot more than they are currently. And that, from, uh, yeah, that one run from Troom on Statue, oh man, that, that hurt me to watch. The fact that he had the opportunity for, for the two-man and then uh, gets completely denied. It must Which, be heart-wrenching when those sort of things go down. It, it, it does happen though, we have to take that into consideration, you know, sometimes players just get unlucky. And uh, we do see the Angel sitting on the board's shoulders right now. Tomsky is going to be pushing it to this A-side, pops his flash out towards Cafe, but he's going to have absolutely no one pushing him, except for Trunk, who uh, is going to be on this A-side. Pretty much the rest of... Insuba are over towards B, distant, taking out Sax Axes with that scope. Fenter is actually the man with the bomb. It's not often you see the scope carrying the bomb. And he has heard a player here just in front of him. John's going to be pushing around the corner. He's got a player just off to his right. He can easily pick up this frag and does do so. Takes out Troom. And when we see ballers opening themselves up with a very strong round here, we do see John taking out the last player there in the form of Finta, and that'll take it to 5-8 and putting uh, Ballers three rounds into the lead. question is, can we be looking at my predicted 10-8 scoreline? That is the question here. It's on my mind at the very least. Do you anyway. say 10-8 or do you mean 13-8? 13-8, sorry. My bad. Long day then. Long day. Anyway, going into this game now. Suba trying to push A, but Trunk getting taken out by an anti-courtyard rush nade. Trum, however, is in there finding one, but Fittel shutting him down. Rapture falling to his knees. Three players remaining on what is a promising push from Suba. Myzak is finding Bithos, and ballers know they have a lot to do. Distant nade in that site, trying to stop the bomb plant from going down, trying to stop the pressure. But Distant finding Myzak once again. Beautiful play there by Distant. Clearly a key player for the ballers' side, racking up the kills left, right, and centre later on into the game. Bomb plant is going down on the A side Explosive once again. Planted. Ballers know they have to at least find one so they can get the pressure, so they team up on the enemy player. But they know that Overlook guy is not going to go down easily, so they choose to smoke him out instead. There's one on the right side, they have spotted him distant, getting the angle. As Sexas will take out his teammate, but Distant knows he's got a lot to do here. There's 25 seconds, he's got a lot of time to play with. As they sit across that top Overlook area. Surely Distant's gonna get this pick here, he does spot him, will shoot, giving away his position, will fake it again, spot him in those windows, surely he's gonna get picked, surely he's gonna get picked, but no he doesn't. Smart play from Finty goes out here, surely he can land the frag, and he can, oh he's so far, my heart would be in, if Distant had gotten away with that, Finty would have had nightmares all this week. I would have done the, the casual stand up spin and jump tactic. Seems to, I believe it was the tactic you always taught us, just spin. Always when in, spin. When in doubt, spin. spin. Yes, exactly. Never fails. Okay, it, may, it mainly fails, but every yeah. now and again it doesn't. It gives you that 2% hope that something might happen. Exactly, they might lag out from the FPS it creates. Now, uh, following here on Tomsky, as he's once again pushing this campfire side, we do see a kind of four men sitting towards B and mid side while Trunk pushes A and I don't think it's working out too well for them. Finta gets a peek onto distant that's a very vital pick there it's going to make that long distance play a lot more comfortable for the super side giving them the freedom of moving around just a little bit more 
Tomsky still sitting tight. Sex Axe is spraying through the wall, taking out Vithos. Vithos so stunned, he did not even attempt to get away from that one. And it seems like he's super rotating to back towards his A side. Troom has grabbed a frag of his own as Trunk takes out Tom. And it is now all down to Mr. Rapture, but he's got an AK. Fence has got the bomb planting on B. Can he stop it? No, Troom is on call. And that'll take the round to Suba. Score now 7-8. Well played by Suba here. They were a few rounds down. They must have been slightly demoralized and come back this far. Only one round behind now is really an accomplishment. And they really need to carry this momentum on throughout the rest of the game. If they can, I think they can pull this back. But it's going to be a big ask for the team. Anyway, we are seeing them going for a split round. But the bomb is on the B side. They will be focusing over on that B. We do have Mizak in the mid shop. Surely he can get a frag over towards Garage. As indeed, Timo is about to push around that corner into Danger's hands. Mizak getting tagged up, and they know there's one garage. They might, they might wallbang him here, and if they do, he could be in a whole heap of trouble. Mizak once again getting spotted, as Tom will find Troom. You see they are trying to get into A. They are pinned in in Cafe at the moment, with only Tomsky penning them in. But penning them in, he is taking down Trung with only one remaining on that A site on the right side, jumping to the left. Tomsky knows he's got the advantage. We'll be trying to finish him off as he does and gets the bomb. One player remaining now for Suba. It is Sexas. He does have the deagle in hand and he needs to find Tomsky. Will be free aiming around the corner. Will try and take him down, but switches weapons. That could have cost him the game. That tiny little error, that tiny little mistake. 7 9 now in favour of Ballers. 7 9, and looking over at the scoreboard, we still don't see anyone standing out. And I find this rather exceptional because you generally always have that one or two players that really stand up for the team. But uh, it seems the teamwork is in abundance for both of these. Uh, both of these sides, and they're all working together to uh, equally distribute those frags. Ball is on top of this, though, as Vithos and Tom both grab frags. Troom is pushing to the B side. There's absolutely no contention as uh, he casually strolls in here. And will ballers by any chance react on this? Will they realize that they've got no one on this B side? John drops down, but he's a little late as Troom picks him off in the head. Tomsky's now left on his own on that A side. Distant picks off Troom as Troom actually makes his way to the top of that spawn building. You see, but only a man down. They can still pull this one back. Bomb is going down here by Sex Axis. He does actually get it down and is going into a position that is very commonly used, but it seems to work for him as uh, he catches Distant off guard. He is seeing spray coming from him. Oh, just off to his right. His teammates behind him, Fincer, helping uh, with that cover on that B side. Absolutely exceptional team play from these two last men standing, and they will bring that back from a 2v3 to win the round. Beautiful round and beautiful team play. That's what the series is all about, and that's what they just showed in that round. Once again, they do seem to be going for a split trunk with a risky A push. He didn't have the best of spawns, but he's managing to get himself in there relatively unscathed. Thorley is going to find one as they push in. Will take down Tom. There is another lurking on that A bin. Gene does need to shut down and able to make that cross. Myzak finding Vithos and Ballers know that this round could be Isubas if they don't step up their game right now. Drunk hesitant. Cream firing around that even. Trying to help his teammates. The sex house is huge. Taking down two. Rapture taking down Kinte in response. But Myzak will finish off the game. Finish off the round, sorry. Taking down Rapture. And it's even Stevens. I know they, we, we can clearly see the difference between the 4 versus 1 that Rapture had and the 4 versus 1 that Vithos had. Where Vithos could easily pick them off by one by one, but he's super just running in in full force, all four players surrounding him and not giving him a single chance to uh, to bring that round back. And we do see Trunk once again pushing into this A side. He's got to play it off just to his right. Will he be able to pick up this frag? No, he won't. Rapture. Coming out on top of that situation as he finishes off Trunk. And we also see Mysag dropping. Troom back on this B-side. Can he get into this B-side once again? And it is John that's just in there that's going to be stopping him. Uh, but they're getting so close to each other. Will Troom turn around? No, he won't. John picks him off, and it is all down to Finter. The scope for the Super side. And man, that started off so well. Can he close off this round in the exact same style? He's peeking over towards A. He hasn't got that bomb with him. It's going to be one of his first priorities to go and pick up that bomb. Dropping down into mid. He's running from cover to cover at the moment as uh, he doesn't want to overexpose himself. But John coming around from the side, pushing out of the B side, and will take him down, bringing it to 10 9 as Borders hold on to that lead. Inte here does seem to be the last one standing a bit too often here. Maybe, I don't want to say baiting, but along those lines. So maybe he needs to get in a bit more aggression. So he's playing to get like in there, me. Help his teammates. 
he likes to sit in spawn house and uh, watch the teammates die and take the glory basically, but at the moment he's failing to take the glory and uh, it's just not working out for him. And it's what well, it's costing his team the rounds, but it's super oh, getting shut down here. My second sex apps go down while I'm talking. There's only one ballers player going down in response. John shouting out cries of despair as Finte is once again Dennis, the last one standing. It's, what is he playing at? How is he the last one standing so often? I do not even understand. I think it's more the fact that, you know, his teams, his teammates are pushing that he's trying to give them a cover, you know, sitting in Overlook, you can't really say that sitting back too much. He's in a, you know, an exposing position, he's trying to lay down some cover for his team, but, you know, while he's doing that, there's two SMGs pushing Underlook, uh, annihilating his team, so he's kind of like, oh, um, I guess I should get there quicker. So, uh, just a little bit of unfortunate him, you know, ballers trying out their tactics and it really seems to be working for them. We do see Vithos pushing out towards the feeling. There's a play just off to his left. Can he land the kill? Unfortunately, not. Shroom's going to take out Vithos, but John in there with the reply. As Finter onto distance. Scope on scope battle there, and Finter coming out on top. Uh, we do see Finter once again pushing over towards the B side with the bomb. And Troom trying to bait out any fire he can. Wow, John takes a bullet right to the chest and absolutely brushes it off. Fence is going to be a little bit upset, but Trunk and Sex Axe is on top of that one. It is only Rapture left standing. He is over towards that Abens area. It's going to be very difficult for him to bring this one back. Purely for the fact that the bomb is going down at B. The players are well spread out across the map. And uh, he picks up Trunk, but Sex Axe is in there with the Revenge Frank, bringing it to 10-11. And uh, it seems your prediction was wrong. It was wrong, but it was pretty close if uh, Ballers can pull off the next few rounds. But... I do feel that Isuba aren't out of this game quite yet. Trunk running once again into A without fear. Getting in there before the Isuba defense can establish their ground. Flash guard going out, but Trunk is waiting. Wolf take down one. Spots another one on the statue. Tagging him up, runs out of ammunition as he pulls out his second weapon, but falls to distant scope. This don't get a second frag. A third frag put this time <laughs> on his teammates. Is not, Rapture is not going to be happy about that. John and Vithos remaining for ballers now. They do know they have a lot to do. One defending B, one defending gate. That's the way they play. With Zuba cautiously sneaking around the back B. One is rotating though, around to A. Try, maybe trying to cause a distraction. Trying to make ballers think that they are in fact going for the A site. If he can pull this off, it should be a Zuba's round. But it's a risky business and Sexas must know that darting towards that back calf. Flicking over to the scope now. Distant is in fact looking at that cafe area. So it could be now or never. Do they go play? Do they go front? Whichever way they go could cost them this round. Do have room lurking around the two remaining ballers players. But Distant knows they're pushing to A. He is spot aiming it. The smoke cloud hasn't covered it yet. It has actually been, been covered. But Shroom finds John. Will find Distant. And it's super bringing us back 11 11. 11 11 and. The yeah, unfortunate thing now for ballers is they have got that one player that is disconnecting and that's always that little, you know, that little irritation for the team, you know, constantly demotivating them, uh, you know, every five rounds, being kicked off and you're like, oh damn, you know, scoreboard reset, so on and so forth. But Tom starting off strong this round, you know, trying to bring up the motivation a bit as he takes out Shroom, Mysak right back on that with an opening frag and four opening frags. Frag grenades going out by either team, but Vithos' push into that mid shops is really going to cause some problems here for the super side. They've got to try and shut him down as quick as they can, but he's darting left and right, and he's making it extremely difficult for the super side to take him out. And we do see Distant landing a couple of headshots there onto Sex Axis. Trunk is your last man standing. He knows one's up in mid, and uh, he also knows where the other two players are. So he could play this one slowly and get a couple of picks. Can he find John here? He has tagged him up. He's going to be pushing forward. Does take out John. And now we do see Distant and Vithos, you know, teaming up together now as they try and stick together. They don't want to be left alone and picked off by Mr. Trunk. And has Trunk actually got the bomb? I'm not too sure, but he does go down to Vithos' AK. So it's not going to matter all too much. We do see ballers on a map point. Wasn't much they could do. They were in overlook. He had a valid attempt, and I'm going to give him the credit for that. But let's see how Isuba try and take this final round. Will they play it differently? It doesn't look like they will. As Isuba, he look like they're sending Trunk in once again to try and clear out that A site. He hasn't gotten in again before the ballers know. This time, ballers don't seem to be sending anyone in too quickly. Maybe it's seeing Isuba are going to push before going in. But this time, Trunk does go down to Vithos. Vithos has got the better of him, and that's going to be quite sore. 
this late on in the game, this much of a crucial round. And the Super just being careful now. They can't afford to take any more losses. They are on the attack. They are spread quite thin on this map. Going for a split, but the split's not really working for them at this stage in the game. Uh, Ballers sitting patiently, sitting calm, and just waiting for the Super to run into them, basically. And uh, it does seem to be working for them so far in this round. Rapture, though, feeling the pressure on the B side. It's getting tagged up quite a bit. As they were seen to be making their way around to the B. There is one hovering in front of Mizek's sights, but it's hidden behind a flowery object. And he just can't see that frag. He has made a lot of noise. Surely that's going to give himself away. He's looking towards that enemy player once again. This is just heart wrenching. He knows it's there. He knows it's so close. But he just can't seem to land the frag. Will jump on statue. Will find Tom. And there's two on the A bin now, waiting for his A push. The bomb is looking like it's going to be rotated. Two smokes going in as Fithas pushes into statue, taking out Mizak. John taking out Troom. And Sexas taking out two ballers players. This could be a Sexas. Could have won them this round. But can they finish it off? They are rotating onto the A side. They will need Sexas as the time ticks away in front of Finte's eyes. There is two onto the A bin. There's three seconds. Three seconds, two frags. And no, he can't. And Ballers have just snuck and taken this game away. I feel so sorry for Asuba after the performance they've just given. Wow, that was really bringing it down to the last couple of seconds. And that nade, that single nade changed it all. He must have seen it coming, but there's nothing he could do it once they've left it that late. He had to hope that the nade would only attack him and not take him out. And the chances of that are so unlikely at this level of play. Uh, definitely. Now we will be moving on to crash.